Are you guys ready? Are you ready for the best award show you'll ever see on warzone.com? Are you ready to see the best award show of all time? Let me hear let me hear some applause. There there you go. Yeah. Mhm. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. That, that, that bit, it's over. All right. Let me change this. All right. So I'm going to bring my co-host up. He's known as Bane on Warzone. He's also one of my favorite map makers of all time. Best bud. Known him for a long time. And let me tell you, this guy, I, I couldn't do it without him, so I appreciate him. But here he is. Ethan slash Bane slash whoever you want to call him. I don't even know if he has another another name, but let's fucking go. Let's get him in here. Ethan. I uh, already have to pee. You already have to pee. Me too, dude. I peed like three times before. I, I'm always peeing at this point. I've been peeing like six times in the last hour, I felt like. But, yeah. Well, that's the problem is when you eat right before being on a giant stage, mm -hmm. you have to pee during it. Yeah. I like yeah. to picture the audience being naked, but it only makes me want to pee more, I guess. <laughs> I don't understand why, but it works that way. Yeah, but how's everyone doing tonight? Got, we, got, uh, we got a couple people in here. We got uh, Dan in here. We got uh, Save the Marsh. We got Enderzy. Got the General. The Regulars, the Regulars. Dan oh. is a name that keeps popping up every now and then. I noticed him quite often during the nominations wonder mm -hmm. what will happen yeah i wonder if uh yeah ender z was nominated for i think every single one um but yeah so yeah but first before we start first let me change this hold on it's gonna bother me it's gonna bother me it's almost as if we there didn't rehearse any of this yeah it's almost as with as if we're just winging this as we go ethan the thick p bane yes that's a pretty good one <laughs> But um, so yeah, we're reading chat right now. But once we really start to go here, um, we'll probably not read chat very often. But we're we're watching chat. We're watching, and then general's watching as well. So be on your best behavior, because uh, there might be people who watch this later on, and they you know, like they, your parents, like your parents, I'm emailing this video personally to each and one of your parents. This is a test. They're gonna see it. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna do that to keep it uh, somewhat professional. So. I guess, but at the same time, this isn't going to be taken super seriously. We're just having fun and uh, you know, doing all that. So yeah, it's not serious. That's why we're just going to announce that Dan won every award. Yeah, Dan uh, Dan won every single one. So you guys pretty much can just leave. Yeah, <laughs> but don't please. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So in terms of our agenda today, we got a. Uh, we have ten awards, don't we? We have ten of ten awards. Way, perfectly. We didn't even plan it compiled that, a but... random list of possible categories and then didn't delete any of them mm -hmm. so <laughs> so we got we have a couple good ones so we have uh i mean one of my favorites is gonna be worst map for sure um there's that one we're gonna start off with best match but we'll get into that later um we got community member of the year we got best map maker best clan those are some big ones best map of course best fizzer moment you have a lot of good ones a lot of good ones <laughs> And for each of these awards, um, I have a thread already up. It's the winner's thread. It's going to be updated with actual stupid trophy images I made. <laughs> It'll go live after each um, award winner has been announced. Just for you guys. I'm going to try to <laughs> to send the files to those to yeah. the winner. It's just going to be funny. <laughs> but um, also at the end, um, we'll also have closing remarks, and we'll react to our own reactions of these awards. I mean, because I will say that it's going to be a good one. I can feel it. And we're going to, you know, look at the winners and losers. Even though I wouldn't consider it losing because being nominated is still a pretty good, you know, it's accomplishment. Right. You know what I mean? It's actually surprising how close some of these were. Yeah, some, some of them... like I will say one one category, one of the nominations got zero votes and that's yeah, a that's... Feels bad man moment. Yeah. But uh everywhere else it was pretty neck and neck for almost everything. Yeah, and I was yesterday we streamed for like in four fact, hours. In fact, one one category. Sorry to cut you off. One mm -hmm. category has 
Oh, he's cutting out. He's cutting out a little bit. Hello? Yep, you're good. Sorry, that was uh, the electrician was just messing with like an outlet behind me. Oh, okay. Say, I say hi. Hey, and man, he what's up? Talk. <laughs> but anyway, I was saying that one nomination in one category got all of the votes. So uh, that's weird. <laughs> Didn't that happen? Yeah, it happened. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but also we'll say that uh, yesterday we had a good turnout in terms of the voting. Like it shows me every single day when people voted. And uh, yesterday was a pretty good turnout, so I'm happy about that, that people got their votes in last second, last but Very actually good. did alter. There were some things that did change, and some of them uh, really solidified who wins these awards. So, But it's been pretty good. Um, it's been fun doing this so far. We've been spending, I feel like, all day on it, so... Yeah, it's almost as if a lot of this was very last minute. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like uh, we didn't actually think about doing any of this stuff <laughs> but, until um, the very last second. Yeah. So, well, it looks like a lot of people are in here now. So do you want to just, we want to just go ahead and start then? Or Yeah, let's let's pull out the first award. Yeah, so we got a, we got best match up here. Um, so thing with this, uh to be honest, we didn't have too many nominees for this because I know it's hard to find. But um, well, let's see. It's hard because when you're really good at the game and you have a lot of good math, I'm yeah. not going to speak from experience here. I'm not even going to joke. Like, I don't know. I feel like it might be hard to be like, oh, this game that I won in is clearly the best one. Mm -hmm. So when you get a lot of those kind of nominations, I don't know. It's hard to actually decide, well, it's actually something we want to put in here. Yeah. That was my thought going into it. And then we just didn't get a lot of nominations in general for because I don't think a lot of people remembered good matches that they saw. Yeah, played in. and who knows if this will be a one-time reward uh, or not. Reward, I meant award. But because uh, who knows if there's a next year awards, you know, this is actually a trial and error. So we're only going to make this shit better. So And also, if this is a dumpster fire like it is maybe now, <laughs> just just deal with it and you can make fun of us later. Um, let's see. Should I play music to make it all hype? Here we go. Ready? I am back. You're back? Sorry, oh, you left? Yeah. It's weird. It kicked me out. Oh, yeah. There's some happy music. Yeah, well, never mind. We're not doing that shit. Um, so, yeah. Best match. Let me see if I can bring it up here. I have all the matches. Yep. Okay, perfect. Worked just how I planned it. Um, so, here's ML2 Game 12 between Master of mm -hmm. Disaster, who's, uh, I believe, is in many... He's in two categories, uh, Two other categories, right? So he's three. I think he's in three yep. different uh, awards yep. nominees. So we have it's a battle between him and Quicksilver. And in five turns, the game was over. Let me see if I can uh, go back go in time. We'll watch, you know. But we want to say first that me and uh, Ethan here, we're not strategy gods. So well, Okay, like, you can speak for yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm like so far above other people's playing skills they actually underflow back to just being terrible mm -hmm. so at one point i was the best that's true i, I remember when you won uh all the ladders all, all at the same them. time and had all my stats deleted yeah back in like what was it like 2013 or something like that yeah all right but yeah so right off the bat you know here's some picks and i don't know exactly what happened but it looks like quicksilver was up by one army per turn and then Oh, and then goes up two more, and then somehow uh, Quicksilver wins. And that's dramatic, <laughs> I guess. So that's our first nominee. Um, we'll, we'll just call it ML2. And here's another one that happened on live on this channel mm. back in the... Uh, I didn't nominate this, so if people think... I wasn't that, even here to see it. No, so like I didn't nominate this. Um, this was just... Since there wasn't any other nominations, I guess this one just had to be in it. Um, so we have, so I think, let me see when this was. Um, doesn't say what date. Let me look again. 1230, so, uh, you know, right before uh, the new year. So Instead of being with family, he was streaming. Yeah, I was streaming. So I feel like dedication to the craft is worth the nomination itself, even oh, though thank you. someone random nominated it. But the thing is, this has nothing to do with me, because... Uh, this is a free for all between uh, three people from the Cat Clan and then uh, Hermes and then me, and it's kind of like a you know it's really hard to see because this map's kind of uh, ugly, ugly little but a little <laughs> colorful, 
So then you have other colors in there. And then uh, this is the happy birthday map, by the way, for Fizzer. Happy birthday, Fizzer. Um, he turned uh, 49 when the map came out. Oh, really? Wow. Um, yeah, he's really old. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so turns go by. I'm pretty sure I get eliminated in turn. Yeah, turn 10 it looks like. No, actually before that. So turn like six, I get killed. And it's kind of, uh, from what I remember, the cat people all teamed up on uh, Hermes here. And it kind of was a clusterfuck. And then in the end, it looked like the cat clan was pretty much going to get destroyed. Or, no, in s the cookies guy, he looked like he was going to win. But in the end, they voted to end. So the true winner was, was friendship. Uh, yeah, because in the end, it wasn't about the victory. And that's what's different. The journey along the way. Yeah, and this that's what's different about all the other ones is that this one there was no victor besides friendship. So there's that one. And then there's the season X X I X Master of the Dead versus Flying Bender. I'm pretty sure this was a very critical game in terms of Master of the Dead winning the season ladder there. Um, in terms of how this game planned out. It looked like they'd started in pretty similar spots, and then it kind of just was over by turn five. Just like the other ones, I don't know what I'm really looking at besides... <laughs> but people nominated it, people that do know what they're yeah. talking about. So apparently it was good. Yeah. And then here's another one, Master Disasters in it again. Uh, yeah, he's in two of them on here. And this time he wins against a rack leader, which I'm pretty sure also was a major battle between first and second place. I remember correctly um but like the other ones master disaster um starts off pretty good and then this time he doesn't lose though and yeah that's it <laughs> i have no else really have no other comments really the same but um if you had to pick i mean you do not necessarily have to say who you're voting for but let uh what are you like what are some highlights you think of all of these that like maybe one that would you put maybe a little bit above the others not necessarily a winner but like maybe honorable mention an honorable mention um i guess the honorable mention i would do is the one you were in that free for free for free for all whatever the title was mm -hmm. for it um simply because i just like the idea that a bunch of people the day before uh new year's eve banded together for a pointless war and then all <laughs> surrendered at the same time basically and no one won yeah, that's pretty good. But I might have to give some love to Master of the Dead versus Flying Bender just because I don't understand it. That and the fact that they picked all in the same spot and there's a big chunk of map here and they decided to play all in the same spot here and the game was over within three turns. So I need to get some, get some love to them. So I've had games end in less than three turns. Um, I haven't won any of them. <laughs> so I think that's why. But... <laughs> uh but so who even won this thing um well let's look here so do people have i mean you don't necessarily have to say who you voted for but do you, who do you think won not necessarily who you voted for but who do you think won let me see some people in chat here you know if there's gonna be every time we're gonna read chat it might be now like out loud so if you think you know who won time to spam that shit Cause I, oh, I can't say because I know who won. Yeah, we know who won. So, Dan says he's had games that ended in zero turns. I mean, does that count as being booted? I don't think that's game of the year, match of the year, material though. But if people really want to know, guess we could. I guess we could just drop it on him, right? Sure. Ready? And the winner is. Damn, Andrews, just got roasted. Um, <laughs> for, for, Do you free, even for, have for the all. slide ready? Yeah, this no, it's open. I got it right here. It's free for all. the The one, the fizzer, and the happy birthday fizzer map. So, and if you think that... this is rigged, if you think this is, I know this looks like it might be rigged because out of all the matches, this one wasn't was happens to be the one that I was in, and I'll say that it wasn't rigged. It was actually won by a pretty good margin, too. This was one of the few ones that actually was pretty good in terms of, I think it was like 
it took like almost 40 percent of the vote or something like that whereas yeah when we went over the um actual voting uh turnout for all of the awards i noticed a trend that we'll talk about after everything is over because i think i know where all these votes came from <laughs> yeah i wonder where but uh so yeah Free for, 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 for all, free free for all, whatever you want to call it, f -f 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 wins uh, best match. And sadly, there's no real trophy for that, I guess. I guess it just goes to everyone involved. I don't think I, I deserve it. I might just give it, it to um, might... whoever whoever first said, you know, we should vote to end. I'm going to mm -hmm. give it to that person in particular. Or I'll just give it to everyone involved. You can have the trophy, too. Oh, I thanks. posted it on, I died uh, pretty quickly. on that winner's thread. <laughs> it's sitting yeah. there. Mm hmm well, there you go. Go see the trophy. It's pretty good. Um, so now we have next is worst map. The one I've been really looking forward to, Ethan. I've been looking forward to this. When I first <laughs> thought of this award show, worst map was the first category that I Well, because that's what your whole, like, Warhol streams are about is just terrible maps. Yeah, terrible and garbage there's maps. A word isn't necessarily like oh look at this very shitty map it's more of just like this map is so bad it's kind of fun <laughs> like it's yes. goofy bad <laughs> but yeah like as long as like i mean i kept it kind of open to people's interpretation of like what is a bad map or worst map like it doesn't have to be necessarily like uh something that you'd actually play on like a 1v1 on or like something that would be strategy based it could have been either if it's funny looking um bad looking but like you said probably mo probably the biggest uh criteria for it was if it was just fun and you know goofy to me that's when i think of worst map i just think of that like something yeah. that like okay a group of us is just gonna play on it fuck it and then just like we're not gonna take this seriously this game is probably unbalanced all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. so let me look oh i also have uh let me look let's look at the people here so i have a little slideshow here so first up you see on screen is discount usa then railways of great britain which i one of the first ones i played on on stream and that's cancer um oh a naval battle another one another popular one i really i this one's my personal favorite but we'll talk about that later we have zodiac by lionheart and then uh what was this one on the sky map by t best that I'm just going to put this out here. That's the one I voted for. And it's not just because I know T-Best and I know how much work he went into that map, but it's just really, really good at being bad. Yeah. So in terms of a naval battle here that you see on screen, um, what I liked about it was that it was hiding. Like when you go on the maps page, it took me forever to find. Like I've gone through that thing back and forth, I feel like. And I'm, at one time I finally saw it. I'm like, how have I not seen it? Like, because it's beautiful. When I say beautiful, I mean that sarcastically. But, like, there's... visually, it just it's very goofy looking. And there's a lot of stuff going on. There's Pirates of the Caribbean in the background. But then the other ones aren't Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm very confused. Also, the map construction-wise is, like, from top or bottom to top. Like, you can't go down. Um. So. Well, in terms of, again, the criteria being so bad it's good like a simply ugly map that's terrible to play on yeah wouldn't even be in this category yeah. um but i will but... say railways of great britain is probably my least favorite on here because it actually was difficult to play on because <laughs> visually with all the colors happening so who connects to what yeah you don't it's know just... what's happening sky maps I, I honestly i think sky map is actually a decent map in terms of uh simplicity you know gets the job done easy accessible um when a lot of people put a lot of colors on a map like the railroad one mm -hmm. um oftentimes they forget that the territories themselves will be the colors of the players on it so you just gotta assume there's gonna it's gonna be like a a clusterfuck of different colors so if you're adding a whole bunch of very simple colors yeah. surrounding those territories it's just gonna be confusing to play on but mm -hmm. that's what makes it kind of fun to be like i have no idea i didn't realize i could attack you for the past three turns because exactly. I didn't know we connected. Exactly. And then we have Zodiac map here, made by Lionheart, who's up for a map maker of the year, which is weird that one of his maps would be in worst map of the uh, year award, because honestly, I don't even think the Zodiac map is like bad. I don't know what's so bad about it. I mean, 
you're a map maker. What is what is bad about this map? It just looks kind of boring. I don't know. I honestly didn't really get that it was terrible either, but it was nominated quite a bit, so that's why it's on there. Mm-hmm. So, and then what was, I think, do we talk about all of them? Oh, Discount USA, very simple. Basically, USA cut into some chunks. It's it has the some... crude drawing of the whole thing that makes it look bad. Mm-hmm. Very, very choppy, I guess, for lack of a better word. And then it's uh has some little quotes on there. I think by uh, the president, Donald Trump. True remember... quotes. All of them are real. All of them are real? Every single one. Yep. Um, I have no idea that where they build source. the wall now. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's other quotes on there, too, as well. So, but yeah, so those are the maps. Um, I think they're all unique in their own way. I think all of them you guys should play on at least once. I think I played on almost all of them. I think I played on all of them. I definitely played the Lionheart. I don't know about Sky Map, but, um, but they're all good maps. Like, good in the sense of good of worse maps. So, I, I think this was a good award. Um, and yeah, it's def- a fun award. And definitely good nominees we have here. So, uh, so let's see. Let's get the and the winner is thing up. So, okay, people, it's time to see who the winner is of the worst map of the year. What do people think? Because I, I mean, before going in, I thought it would be a certain one. I'll say afterwards, but I, mean, I, I was cheering thought for it. it would be the railroad one for the longest time. I'm like, this is a shoe in for the railroad one. Mm. But. Um, but I think this was more of a, I get, well, you'll see. So the winner is Discount USA. Is the win, it, Discount USA won because I think it was popular, popular, you know what I mean? Like popular, popular. It's it had poppy. a lot of nominations and obviously the people that would nominate were voting. the same map would all vote for it. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's probably how it got all of those uh, votes. I just noticed when i when when the things popped up that i have actually have a quote on here and i don't know when i said that but i'll say <laughs> oh i just noticed that i never saw it and another reason that well then that's a good reason that it won them because now you're part of the award i have to go back and find out when uh i actually said that and what the context was he probably said it was ugly and i'll say i'll say oh that's probably that's probably true um <laughs> so yeah Discount USA wins, and uh, I will say, I think it actually it won by, like, five or six votes, I think. So somewhat it was close. pretty close. Yeah, yeah. somewhat close. Um, but, yeah, there you go. Worst map is all lottery maps. Well, remember, this is specific maps made in 2017. All things <laughs> win because of having a lot of votes. Nice analysis, yes. Well, we're saying true. in terms of, like... It made sense. Like at first, when I, like before voting even happened, I thought I was really cheering for a naval battle because it was fun to play on, and the, it's unique and goofy. So that's why I, I was cheering for it. And to be honest, I didn't really like Discount USA just because of all the United States maps. But at the same time, I appreciate it and I see why it's popular. So you know, round of applause for. Uh, Round of applause for Discount USA. It gets a, it gets an applause, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm playing applause right now. Oh, are you? I have the stream yeah. muted. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> Round of applause. It's okay, so what's next? What's next? Oh, we have best war zoner. Very now, interesting see, term. There were two categories that related to people, and it's not trending gamer, but there was best war zoner and then um, war zone community member, and there are different categories best war zoner is for actual gameplay skill and best com- and war zone community member was just who commuted who contributed to the community the best this year like in terms um, of forums like they, they could be good too um but oh that's interpretation for, that's, community of, member. that's for community member but yeah best right. war zoner was skill based only had nothing to do with like uh their image in the forums or what they brought to the community like that's what we try to because uh, originally we were just going to do like best war zoner and that was going to be it but I was like well there's the difference between someone who's good at the game and then someone who could be bad at the game but still like bring a lot to the community like either through making maps or so even a map maker could have won the community member of the year but we'll talk about that later um, but yeah best war zoner was someone 
uh, who skill wise is really good and is known to be good. I think that has a lot to do with it as well. Famous even. Famous even. Um, <laughs> so let me show you guys the nominees. So we have Master of the Dead, obvious. Massive. Dis- we have two masters in this uh, nominee chain here. So they're really good they guys. From there. Masters Clan, which is also up for a nomination. You have Nazroar. Alhazi's in there as well. Is he's like level sixty nine by now, right? Yeah. He has to be. And of course, Dan Warlight, our favorite, um, fan favorite in chat. Um, so yeah, we have two masters: Master of the Dead, Master Disaster, and then Nazroar, Dan Warlight, and uh, Alhazi. And uh, so yeah, I feel like going into this, I thought it would be a basically a neck and neck race between two people we're not gonna say who but uh there are two people who i thought were really good like actually like really good actually really good and then one name apparently stuck out to a lot of people yeah pulled through yeah because some of these people one have won season ladders right we have people who've won uh season ladders we've had people who've won uh you know also 1v1 ladders or one you know all those type of like actual games that count, like you know what I mean. So like, like if I was nominated for this, that'd be a joke, right? Right, so, it would be a joke. Because I'm never pretty sure that's how um, Nas Horror. I guess that's how I pronounce his name. Sorry. Oh, um, that's th- I think that's how he got nominated because he's very adamant about things mm-hmm. and also kind of good. But I think it was mostly a joke that he got nominated. But he got nominated enough to be up there, I guess. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of people who nominated themselves. But a lot of people didn't nominate these individuals here. So, but with that, I mean, we'll see. You, it'll be, I think people will like this. I think people will agree. Or so, hate it. So, in the, and the winner is, you have a lot of people in chat already saying uh, certain people here, who they voted for. A lot of people say he's already got golden trophy or two, right? See, so yeah, like, yeah. Once again, let us uh, remind you that you do get trophies in that one forum post, Ethan. If you want to, I posted it earlier. Okay, and uh, then uh, I'll post it again. But yeah, all your little awards for people who win—that's where your awards will be. Uh, if I had the money, I'd definitely give you like a lame T-shirt or something, <laughs> and I'll send it to you. But remind me in like four years when maybe I have money. Um, but yeah, so without further ado. The winner is for best war zoner, best skill player is. And I can't believe it. Dan Warlight. Dan Warlight wins best <laughs> war zoner, and I'm not joking. He We're got not a this, lot of votes. He actually got. And he, it was funny. It was. He won by pretty good mar good margin, but Dan, congratulations, <laughs> dude! I. Dan is the best. I don't know how, See, but it happened. It happened, but. I honestly, no offense, Dan, but I didn't now, think... Now, Dan, Dan, uh, you have to change your name to Dan WZ. You have to do it. You have to. <laughs> the people have spoken. People, some people are upset. You know, we have a couple boos. There we go. And this is, well, once again, we're not, I'm, we're honestly not interfering. Like, we voted, but, like, in the end, like, we really did not, like, be like, oh, well, we really want this guy to win, so we're just going to give him five extra votes. Like, no, this is legitimate. I can show you the graphs of people who voted, and Dan Warlight won. And I, but I think Dan does does deserve it because he's a really good guy. He's in not just my streams and everyone else's streams. He's in Fizzers. I think he's a mod in Fizzers stream, if I remember correctly. But that's just community member kind of stuff. But, like, Dan he also is good. Dan got banned off of Fizzers stream, so. Yeah, he did get you on banned, too. Um, but Dan... Dan's just a good guy, and I think I can't be more happier for him. You know what I mean? That an award has gone to Dan. You know what I mean? Because he's a good. He's he deserves it. He deserves an award for all the things he does. But uh, but yeah. So, anything, any other comments or also Matt? No offenses. No. Th- by the way, everyone else in this category was also really good like this is nothing against anybody else it's just the way the votes turned out it's just the way the way the votes turned out like master disaster master of the dead you guys are fucking phenomenal like i don't even know why you win all the time like i don't you're on a different level but you guys are really good and 
I mean, that's what the Master of Clan is all about, is it not? It's not about uh, the wins, because they win all the time, it feels like. I think you won, like, w lost one game in all the ladder or whatever. Some say Master of Disaster is just a Fizzer alt. Mm, well, that doesn't change the award nominees. <laughs> but <laughs> So anyways, so now we finally do have the next award, which makes sense in terms of orders. Warzone Community Member of the Year. Um... Like we talked about earlier, was it's not this is someone who's not necessarily good at the game, but can or they can be good at the game, but someone who brings a lot to the community either through map making. Um, we've seen people get nominated because of uh, scripts that they made and you know, the forums and stuff like that, and uh, you know stuff like just or being a just good being really nice, helpful people or helpful people. We know that's the kind of thing that this award is about. So, with that, we've kind of already talked pretty much about it because it kind of goes hand in hand with best warzone there's a couple people who are also nominated for best warzone are also made into best community member so with that we have uh limberson ninja nick classic he's always been around da boy one that's how i read it <laughs> da boy <laughs> and dimberson still limberson came up again maybe my thing's broken it's broken so I'm just going to, yeah, it's broken. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you the other people. Just give me a second. It's not working. So the other people are Master of the Dead um, and Dan Warlight. So for whatever reason, they didn't appear in this. Probably my end. Um, so we have Dabo One, Dan Warlight, Ninja Nick, Master of the Dead, and Limberson, who all were nominated, I think, multiple times. Most of them, most of them were nominated multiple times in the thread or either on stream or something like that. So, so we have those people. One person asked who's Ninja, which is actually surprising. So no, that's not that surprising. A lot of people are like us and they're not around. They've been around for a long time, but they're not constantly on. So a lot of newer people or whatever might not see. <laughs> a lot of people are, oh, I like the reaction so far. So, um, but yeah, so did I, yes. So basically, I mean, there's not much else to say really than here are the people. A lot of people, Ninja Nick makes maps, uh, Dabo one, I know makes a lot of, so he's, he makes a lot of scripts. I mean, and from what I've heard, I mean, I haven't, I haven't used them myself, so I can't say for that. Um, Dan, but a lot of people did that. Yeah. And Dan Warlight makes cool shit too. He makes some scripts as well. Um, he's also just a good guy as we've seen. Um, Master of the Dead, and, you know, he's good at the game, and he's always commenting and stuff like that. So all these people rightfully deserve the nomination, I will say. Exactly. So without further ado again, the winner is... You ready? You guys ready? I'm ready. <gasps> Master of the Dead. Master of the Dead it's wins. so weird. Which you is weird because we thought... we owner and community member to be swapped in terms of winners. But no, this is really how the votes tallied. It's crazy. We honestly thought it'd be... Sw like I thought Master of the Dead or Master of Disaster would win Best War Zoner and that Best Community Member would go for Dan. Because Dan's... Or Dabo... I mean, honestly, I could see it going either, either way. But it was... I will say that it feels switched. But you know what? You guys all get... Uh, awards master dead and dan so is this it, a joke yeah maybe <laughs> it feels like it to be honest i feel like we were joked on by how it turned out but i honestly this is the way it turned out we'll see you in court i don't know if you can sue someone over an award show i think you can <laughs> i'm not gonna like suggest it but i think you can for I, maybe i mean i'm not a lawyer um but yeah, so Master of the Dead. But so yeah, so I mean we've now gone through our first uh, four awards. We have six more to go, but this is a good time to take a quick break to mention our sponsor of the stream, Red Apron, sponsored. Um, they they're number one uh, in cookie delivery delivery um, delivering. <laughs> In uh, Canada, not the United States, they're like number four, but they're still pretty good. You can uh, get 30% off your first order of a dozen cookies if you go to redapron.com slash awards um, right now. Right now, go go on your uh, browser, type in uh, 
redapron.com slash awards and <laughs> you get a uh, 30% off. It's like we had a search. We had a search real hard for a sponsor because this isn't free. You know yeah, what I mean? And their name popped up over and over and over again. Yeah. And they seemed kind of desperate to get their name in the United States and other, you know, European countries because they're an international service, of course. And, uh, <laughs> and then that's their owner actually drawn. That's not what she really looks like, but that's, uh, Mrs. Apron. Uh, she's a really nice lady. We've actually, she actually we talked to us last night on the phone saying, you know, I hope the award show goes good. And we're like, thank you. But you know, we're just here for the money. So, but yeah, go buy red apron cookies. They're really good. I mean, it was like 30% off. So what was it like $9 in the end? I think it's something like that. $9, but but yeah, go check out Red Apron, and uh, thank you guys for uh, sponsoring us. Up next is uh, Best New Clan. We're being specific here. Um, when we mean Best New Clan, we mean 2017. doesn't mean up and coming. Someone right, that the clan had to have been made in 2017. <laughs> and that's pretty just... much it. There was a lot of... it. Was, this category was mostly joke nominations. Yeah, because and there's then... not many new clans. I had to actually dig deep for these new clans. Um, um, but the thing is, a lot of people started nominating uh, clans in the nomination thing that weren't existing or didn't become existent uh, in 2017. They were, they've been around since like 2015. Like the Wizards clan was up for uh, nominated like three times. I'm like, guys, they were made in 2015. So sorry, but... right. Maybe we could do next year do an up uh, an upcoming clan award, something like that. Like oh, someone who like got really big or like popular throughout the year. We can do something like that maybe next time. But but sorry. So the best new clans uh, nominees are garlic bread enthusiasts, the armament of the brethren. There we go. The Avengers, which exist. I've met someone last stream or two streams ago. Who exists in that clan? Clan Destiny, Destiny, with an E at the end. Cream de la Meme, you know, really, that's really catchy, you know. And yeah, so those are that's everybody right there. So we got garlic bread enthusiasts. Just a lot of random new clans. Most yeah. of these I've never even heard of before. But none they of these, up. none of these, except for the Avengers, the one that I finally heard of like two days ago. So that's every well i heard of them before but i meant i met someone in the clan and i asked him like does this clan like exist and they're like i think so they just invited me so i'm like okay but you know my favorite from all of these is the garlic bread enthusiast with one person he runs the whole clan by himself and i don't know if he's even active anymore but i just love that idea of like really loving garlic bread cuz i'm a big fan of garlic bread and i don't know about you but it's not bad it's. I'm just surprised that someone dedicated fifteen dollars to basically say they lay like garlic bread on a risk clone. Something a risk clone, exactly. So, if anything, that just shows his passion, and I appreciate that. Then you have the armament of the brethren, which just seems like some sort of role playing group. I really don't know much about them, to be honest. The Avengers. We know what the Avengers do. You know, they fight robots. Yeah, and, Batman and, and Batman, and Superman, and stuff, stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Clan Destiny. That's just one of them that I could find, to be honest. <laughs> they couldn't find any. Where's Copycat? Yeah, I heard about that, um, but no, that didn't make the list. Um, Cream de la Meme is just funny. So, yeah, but Clan Destiny yeah, is kind of bleh. Sorry, but whatever. So, yeah, this award was, we thought it would be pretty cool, and then in the end it... It really was okay. Yeah, or just kind of like, well, we gotta hope next year a lot of people just make new clans and become popular or something. So if you guys want to win next year's, start making clans now. Give give Fizzer money. <laughs> just <laughs> he do needs it. the money. He needs the money. Um, but yeah. So without further ado, again, the winner is. I'm not even gonna hype this up. Honestly, like, it's garlic bread enthusiasts. Which I think deserves a win because it's one guy by himself. And his title <laughs> is, is Garlic Bread Eater. Actually, his name's Ian. Active? He's Ian. He's actually a member now that I see it. He's a member. Huh. So uh, Garlic Bread Enthusiasts. I think, Interesting. 
I'm hoping that uh, we can like PM them or something. You know, let them I'm know. I'm gonna even. try. If you let them know if they won an award, because this that this was amazing. So, oh, up ne oh, next award's gonna be fun. Next award's gonna be great. Let me tell you. See, I love garlic bread too. The next award is probably my favorite one. Oh, it's definitely up there. It's in because the top three for me. Because there's only one winner, regardless of what was nominated. You guys want to know what that award is? It's a uh, best fizzer moment. Best fizzer moment. We, when we were discussing this, we kind of this. I think was one of the first ones we also thought of. We thought of worst map, and then we're like, oh, we gotta have an award where it was just uh, something that fizzer did that deserves recognition, <laughs> um, in the community. For people who don't know. Fizzer made Warzone, so and he's here and there. He might even be watching By right himself. now. He might be watching right now, stalking. But uh, in the end, he wins this award, so no spoilers, really. But uh, there were some good moments. There were some good moments. Um, it was funny seeing what moments were nominated. Some of them made sense, and some of them were just, like, out of the blue. Yeah, for sure. So... Um, let me get the Chrome up here because I didn't make any slides with them because some of them contain audio. So I want to make sure you guys can hear that. So we have up here from the forum post. So the nominees are Kentucky Fried Chicken, Fizzer Christmas Gift, and Will Warzone, Warzone Be Fixed Response, Fizzer on Milk, and Fizzer on Reviewers. Three of them are Twitch clips, so I'm going to play those for you guys. So here's the first one. Didn't I take this joke off of this and decided it was better without it. How did it get turned back on? KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I do like Kentucky Fried Chicken, although I rarely ever go there. Okay. That's pretty much it. He just, just him commenting on Kentucky Fried Chicken because it was very... He doesn't really talk about his personal life too much, and that's just interesting to know that he likes Kentucky Fried Chicken. You barely get a little view. Oh, did they, at his guys? Did you, life. did you guys even see that? Oh yeah, you did see it. Okay, that's good. I was worried that you guys didn't see that for a second. All right. So there's that one. Then there's the Fizzer Christmas gift, which was very popular and actually awesome. So he said, "Merry Christmas to all." As a free gift, everyone who posts in this thread will get a free month of membership. If you're already a member, I'll give you 50 free coins instead. Offer expires when the thread is 24 hours old. I'll award the gifts at that point. Edit gifts have been sent. That was afterwards, obviously. But, <laughs> but so yeah, he gave everyone who responded, you know, basically Warzone money. And honestly, I'd rather have taken the free membership over the 50 coins. But I can't be mad at him because it's free. And he's a good guy. And I love Fizzer to death. And this was... This solidified it. This solidified the relationship. You know what I mean? What I also thought was funny is that a lot of people, well after the 24 hours ended, kept posting, like, do I get stuff? Like, it no. Was kind of funny. Yeah, it was pretty good. So there's that one. Then there's the Wool Warzone Be Fixed response, which was pretty good. This was, ex like, I think the same day when Warlight turned into Warzone officially. Was it not? I think it was the same... I think it was the day or the day after. And they forced the forums were a fucking disaster with people mm -hmm. complaining, being like, oh, Warlight's done, uh, like like an emperor here. but <laughs> It was a lot of um, over-exaggeration. Yeah, so... The world was ending to all these people. Yeah, so the topic of the post was, uh, will Warzone be fixed, question mark. And then Fizzer responds with saying, I firmly believe in the right... And the rights of games to reproduce, fixing them is cruel and unusual punishment. And he totally roasted them, got them. And that's, I think, you know, honestly, I've never seen Fizzer really, like, roast his, you know, fan base. But I think this was a good roast and a rightful one. So. Well, because he worked hard, so hard, on making Warzone. Mm -hmm. And then someone just says, oh, it's broken, though. Without saying what's broken. like right. If I was him, I'd be pissed off. So he took he took the good route of just roasting. That's always the best option. So there's that. This was the beginning of his streak of just constantly roasting people that would just be like, this game is bad now. Yeah, and then he would just destroy them. Um, so then we have Fizzer on Milk. 
which <laughs> just like the Kentucky Fried Chicken one is just kind of random. Still use that as a button. It basically, basically, there's two OK buttons. There's one here and there's one here. You don't like the blue for analyze. I'm a two percent boy. No, I, I drink. I always drink non-fat. Two percent is better, but I drink non-fat under the assumption it was healthier. There you go. He drinks. Uh, he drinks that good milk. So there's that one. <laughs> And why some of these were nominated is just funny to me. But this is Fizz on reviewers. Three hundred and thirty thousands. Oh yeah, why do you limit the countries I start from? That what that is a review someone left in the Android App Store. I was like, what? This is a review someone left. Why do you limit the countries I start from? Period. In Risk, we can place our troops where we want. I can't find a decent Risk game on Android. I hope this would be uninstalled. I think they were talking about like they were playing the single player levels and they like saw that you just start with like in one place on the world and have to expand. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> All right. What's our next feature? I think that's okay. <laughs> You need to kick that reviewer's ass. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, if you change another player's color, it now saves it so you don't need to change it again. Of course, I'm talking about this chain. So yeah, he just kind of, once again, does a slight roast, just a slight roast, by reading a comment. It was a funny stream when he went through all of the comments reviews just, on Android. Yeah. So, but yeah, there's those are all the moments there. They're all kind of unique and goofy, but that was kind of the point. So, but yeah. So the winner is, I think there was between two. There was it was between two. If I remember correctly, and it actually came down to like one vote. So yeah, it was real close. I think it was the closest one of the whole thing. But so without further ado, here we go. The winner is Fizzer Christmas Gift by very slim margin, but I think it's fair to give him this award because he basically gave away, I guess, money. I mean, his money. I mean, it's all coming back to him for more money, but. You get the point. Like, he gave people some memberships to experience it. You know, he gives people some coins, so. It was random, too. He didn't announce he was going to do that at all. Just all of a sudden. Just all of a sudden, yep. Here you go. Just it's like funny. Santa. I, you know what I mean? Just like the real Santa Claus that is real and not fake. <laughs> the one that just randomly appears in your house and drops you gifts. Mm -hmm. So, well, there you go. Fizzer Christmas gift wins. So, and how are we doing here? Oh, wow, we're at the hour mark already. So, so right now we've gotten through... We've gotten through uh, six. Yeah, six awards now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if you want to, but we can take a quick break and then come back and we talk to chat for a little bit and then we'll continue. What do you think? We could do that real quick. All right, because I was going to get... Uh, I'm going to stretch and uh, maybe get a drink or something. So I need to pee for like the sixth time tonight. Okay, <laughs> you, you do that. But uh, so yeah, guys. Well, actually, we have speaking of intermission, we actually have a band, a live band performing for everyone here. We hired a live band. You guys will love this. All right, they're from uh, I don't know where they're from. I think like, I want to say like it, it was similar to when we searched for a sponsor. We just were desperate to find someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we found these guys. So. Yeah, so I hope you guys and uh, hope you guys enjoy it because uh, I I think they're good. They they did a little rehearsal before we started, and it was really good. So, well, Ethan, I'll be right back and uh, have a have a good pee. <laughs> Try. All right, guys. Well, here, welcome the Warzone band. I wanna be near trees. I wanna be near trees. They put me at my ease. Trunk, bow, and leaves. I wanna be near trees. I like it in the shade. I like it in a glade. The shelter they provide means that I can hide. I wanna be near trees. I wanna be near trees. 
So that was uh, that was the Warzone band. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Uh, yeah, but we didn't we didn't pay them. They're uh... no, I mean Fizzer has enough work to do. We don't have need to pay him for singing. <laughs> oh, oops! Did I just spoil that? <laughs> yeah, everyone doesn't know that that uh, Fizzer is actually the singer. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, we just needed a quick break there, you know. Make sure you're stretching. I hope you guys stretch too. If anything, you should have been dancing, getting them <laughs> knees loose. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I was surprised that they were just sitting on stage, just waiting to play for the whole time. Yeah, like, they're just... we didn't have a set time for them to start. We mm-hmm. Just told them go. But yeah. So okay, so now we have what four awards left, right? Yep. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Best map. Best map we have next. Of course. So, best map, which uh, probably was one of the bigger headlines of uh, this award show. Yeah, there was a lot of nominations for this one. And Many. a lot of crosstalk on it. A lot of crosstalking. Um, but, so, but yeah, here, here are the nominees. And in terms of best map, opposed to worst map, it's basically the opposite, where you want it to look good, you want it to play good, and... Obviously, people it just felt needs it was to be good. Yeah, it just needs to be good, and you know. But I think a lot of these were just—they've won a lot of map of the week awards, 
well, you only can win it once, but like a lot of these were nominated multiple times until they won, stuff like that. So, but I think these really were the best ones. Like honestly, I think they couldn't have done it any better. So, get Ouroboros here, one of my favorites. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. And then we have uh, shit. Where my list go? <laughs> Moundfield. That's actually Arctic Ocean right there. And then Biomes of America. And then. Should have Beaver Wars, which is I love that one too. That one's cool. I like that one. I didn't even know it came out. I just was looking through recent maps. I'm like, wow, huh? Pretty good. Someone so, nominated it. Yeah, Mount Mountainfield was nominated a couple times. I think all these were nominated multiple times. But uh, Arctic Ocean, for example, is very uh, intricate and looks actually like what a map of the Arctic Ocean would look like. So. Uh, so I mean, there's not much else really to say about that one except that just looks, it looks professional almost. I don't know what else to really uh, say about it besides that. Like it looks like, like I said, an actual map, but it looks mm -hmm. like every detail was drawn correctly and just it, it was it flowed, it flowed well. And not a lot of people realize, but there's a lot of limits to map making. Um, the file size of on, on a map needs to be less than two kilobytes. Um, Actually, the cap is somewhere slightly below two kilobytes. So, in order to get a lot of detail out of that small file size, you really gotta like, you gotta alter things. You gotta hide things. Mm -hmm. You have to really like conserve your memory. And this map does it really well. Um, how about uh, how about uh, Biomes of America? Amer that one very very popular, mentioned frequently. Um. What's, as someone who makes maps, what's so appealing about it? I like when a lot of maps, when they have a different perspective that's not mm. top down, are able to keep it consistent. Mm -hmm. So the their perspective, the angle that you're viewing it at is kept on every single object on there. Um, I don't know. And you don't see a whole lot of maps that are like that. I think it's pretty cool. I also like how it's, uh, I mean... No one really talks about the biomes of America in general, and that's just interesting to know about. You know, talking about, you know, all that, you know, good stuff. People love biomes, let me tell you. <laughs> I, have no else, I have nothing else to say about besides right. what you one. said. Um, well, Beaver Wars is just good looking. I like that. Ouroboros World I liked just because of its simplicity, and I like that giant snake. Um, but all of these I liked for different reasons, but... But I think a lot of people, a lot of people in chat are spamming, spamming biomes. But what? these guys are going to be very disappointed. Yeah. So, well, I guess we might. Because I actually well. snuck in one of my maps I made like ten years ago, and that one. Won. Yeah, uh, Nicholas Cage versus Snoop is actually the winner. Um, without further ado, I keep saying that it's just fun to say. Without further ado, the winner is Biomes of America. Like. Like everyone's saying in chat, I think it's just super popular and it and it's uh it just deserves the I mean it's unique. I mean It's very good. It's just it's very, very good. It's solid. <laughs> it's but I, I have no words. I mean like you said pretty much everything, so I mean yep. I'm not a big fan of like world like maps, anything involving like countries and stuff, because I feel like there's a mm -hmm. whole bunch of them. And kind of gets old playing the same thing, but this changes that and make does a fresh new right. take on it. Right, exactly. There's a lot of maps that are the same depiction, um, so it's nice to see something that's actually different but using the same material. Yeah. And Ender Z and chats talking about uh, why don't you guys do mo like why isn't risk of or uh, rise of rise risk of Rome of risk of Rome um, <laughs> rise of risk. Um, um, nominated because it wasn't made in 2017 maybe next year we can do most popular map but i feel like that would just go to the that could potentially just go to the same map that uh was you know a new map that was as popular but besides that i mean all these maps are really solid and everyone should play on them yeah just, they're all really good so i mean i had a hard time voting but i, I don't believe i voted for biomes uh, I wouldn't know because I wasn't you. So, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, Biomes is the winner. 
Yeah, I think a lot of people agree with it and are fine with that. I think it's I think this will be the only award that people are one hundred percent fine with compared to a couple other ones I've seen in chat already. So Yeah, this one was I don't actually remember how the votes tallied on this one. Was this one like a shoe in? Or was it really it close? It was pretty close? it was I think I think second and third was close, but first. But this from, one was yeah, a wide was, margin between them. Gotcha. I wouldn't say like fifty percent, but it was like a thirty to forty, like voting percentage in terms of of all the votes. Gotcha. I was gonna say that's seventy percent, but I understand what you're saying now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. But yeah, so that's uh that's the winner. And up next, yeah, we actually... it was my favorite a nomination. Sorry, mm-hmm. go on. No, I was going to say that up next, we have a very, very, very special announcement. Like, this is going to blow your guys' minds. I'm. It's been rumored. It's been rumored a little bit here and there. We, you know, we try to keep it under wraps because I don't know why this company asked us to do this, but they said, like, hey, we see you're doing an award show. Why not drop it here instead of just randomly? Usually, award shows like us have to go out to try to find mm-hmm. announcements. But the announcement came to us. It was like, here's an announcement. You get an exclusive. Yeah. So, well, I guess you'll just, uh, well, you'll see for yourselves. So here you go. Enjoy. there's a i like i said i didn't think nintendo would come to us but they did but they it was did. strange so they first approached um fizzer if he says it correctly and then yeah they wanted us to show it on the award show so it'll they said they didn't give us a, like an official date but um it, i guess it, just tbd yeah i mean i heard even there's a chance of a bundle but i'm like the war zone's free so right. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it's just gonna be like a custom skin on it, like in the joy the Joy-Con. There's will be like Warzone colors, which I guess could be like a maroon. But they didn't really give us too much uh, details. Um, besides that, you note that it was like the old UI from like Warzone. Yeah, itself. that's also weird too. That you're using old Warzone UI, but maybe it's just they already like had the trailer already made when they sent it to us before the update. Because this mm. we've been in production for months. But, um, but yeah, so, but it was, I feel awesome that, uh, you know, Nintendo came out to us and, you know, maybe next year they'll drop some, maybe they'll drop another trailer or finally it'll be released by next year. I, so, I want it so bad on switch. It would be just so fun. Like it would just look <laughs> nice on that screen. Everything looks nice on that screen. Mm-hmm. And you could even it's play on so your colorful. TV. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't say exactly how like the button controls would work. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you could just use like a pointer with the motion control on like one of the Joy Cons, but. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, so there's that. On to the next award, uh, best map maker. Another big one uh, on this award show. A lot of them are big ones, but this one's up there as well. I would say in the top five in terms of most popular and ones that uh, got nominated the most. So, mm-hmm. best map maker we have. Um, we have T best. Uh, I can't say that name, so I'm just gonna say ZX. Citiz- uh, yeah, ZX. I'm not even gonna try. Clint Eastwood, um, the actor. <laughs> yep. And Lionheart, um, he's been in this chat a couple times. I don't know if he's here tonight, but good guy. Rannick, another good guy. A lot of good guys in here. All these map makers are just nice people. Awesome. And remember, this is for 2017, so this has to be, you know, looking at the material that they produced in 20, 2017. Yeah, it can't Not be like overall. they made a map back in 2015, but like it was such a god tier map that like he can still win. No, it's got to be 2017 only. And like if they, 
and not necessarily about quality or quantity. It's a little bit of both. You know, you want to make sure. I mean, I guess you could have been nominated just for one map, but a lot of these people have made multiple maps. So, yeah. I mean, you also have people like Clint Eastwood that, like, I don't know, really hit their stride this year. So, yeah, so we have all those guys. Um, Lionheart actually made one of the, like we talked about earlier, how he made uh, the Zodiac map on the Worst Map Award. Didn't win, but still got nominated. The thing is, like we talked about, we don't necessarily think it's a bad map. Maybe just compared to the other ones, there's just uh, a little bit on the bland side. But he's made, how many maps do you think Lionheart has made this year? Oh, geez, you're going to ask me for a statistic I'm not prepared for? I don't know. Like 15? I don't know. I would guess like 15. Um, I mean, if, in any case, it's quality over quantity, right? So it doesn't even matter how many he's made. He's just made a lot of... Really- mm-hmm. So. So, yeah, T-Best. T-Best made the Sky Map. That's also... Uh, was also in the Worst Map Award as well. So, yeah, two people who are in the Worst Map <laughs> Awards nominated for Best Map Maker. So, a little weird. But, but yeah, so... A lot of people don't seem to have an opinion on this either, which is interesting in chat at least. But I will say that the votes were very clear. This one was probably another landslide, I would say, yeah. compared to the other ones, which were a lot closer. But this one and the what was the other one that had was a landslide. There was the um. There was another one's a landslide that we haven't announced yet. Oh, that's true. That's true. So. People say Lionheart. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to see. People say, um, okay. Well, people say Lionheart. I guess we'll have to see. And the winner is Lionheart. There you go. You guessed it. You you can cross off your bingo board. (laughs) You got it, Master of D. Um, but yeah, shout out to all the nominees too. Once again, we're like I said, just because you didn't win doesn't mean your shit wasn't good. These people made some good shit. Bingo, yeah. David has it bingo. stuck out to a lot of people, you know, because these were nominated by other. Your Lionheart was nominated, I think, the most out of all of them, and it. I had a feeling it was gonna be Lionheart going in, and it it showed with the with the votes. I don't know. I think this was the biggest landslide of the whole thing um but like i said the other guys made good shit too so give them some props as well but congrats to lionheart i know he's been in chat before i don't think he's in here tonight but uh i love him i love that guy he's always nice he's always been nice too so but yeah there you go best map maker okay so what do we what do we have next ethan i think my favorite category is up next Ooh. It, well, I guess we can see that it is indeed, well, they can't see it, but we can. It's Best Soundtrack, which a lot of people might have noticed that it wasn't even up on the nominations list because it kind of was a last-second thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, you might be confused because you're like, Soundtrack? What do you mean? Well, we're talking about, you know... Music that plays during Warlight. There's a lot of different songs that play during Warlight when you're playing. Mm-hmm. But um, there was one in particular that really, I think, stuck snuck out. Um, let me see if I can find it. I had it open earlier. Maybe, maybe I closed it. I might have closed it. It's okay. We can play it for everybody here. In case you don't know it, for some reason, if, if you ever just joined Warlight, it's the first song you hear. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Here it is. You hear it? Nothing gets your blood moving like uh, Heroic Return by uh, Chris High. <laughs> this was such a stupid category. <laughs> Being real honest here. <laughs> so, and then there's no other nominees, so by default... There's only one song. The winner is Heroic Return. Congrats to Heroic Return. clapping but uh yeah very loud but yeah you know you know it you heard it you know it but yeah congrats to chris high there 
Make sure you guys give him some love. Spotify. I couldn't find him on. I think he is on Spotify, but I couldn't find the song on Spotify, yeah. which is sad. But uh, yeah, so maybe next year we'll have more nominees for this award. But until further notice, Heroic Return will win next year as well. So yeah, there's that. Anything else? No, nothing. You good? Everyone good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because we're about to get a little sad here. This is very serious, guys. Um, it's very hard to um, do an award show knowing you lost someone. You know what I mean? Um, 2017 has been really rough for Warlight. Uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of a lot of things, man. But this one really. This one took the cake. You know what I mean? Like, this hit the forums. This hit the game. It hit like, the feels. Hit the feels. I mean, the fact that, the fact that uh, like someone like this can be taken away. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so. Yeah. But we decided that uh, we need to give a shout out. <laughs> we need to give a shout out to a. Uh, to someone, a lost friend. A lost friend. Um, so, if you guys uh, can uh, take off your hats, um, pull out your lighters. Pull out your lighters because this is about to get real. Um, real sad. So here you go. Said. I, I have no words. Every time I came and look at that picture, without you know, without I your can't believe being, he's gone. Your heart being stabbed. <sighs> like every Sunday when I go to church, I say a prayer for him. You know, like I'm hoping, hoping God's helping him out. You know, that he one May Day grace our presence again. Yeah. So. I'm sure the Cat Clan is also suffering. You know, I mean, they're they're the biggest ones who suffered. And speaking of clans, up next is the best clan award. Wow, it's a really uh, disrespectful segue, <laughs> but okay. Hey, you do what you got to do. So we got a uh, best clan, which is our last award for this evening. Um, but yeah, so who are the nominees? You may ask. Well, it's Master Clan. One, the Role Players Guild, RP. Cats, who are suffering, for sure. German Warlords, das ist gut, das fantastisch. But yeah, so those are your uh, nominees. I have really no other comments, really, because... Uh, we were we're pretty uh, vocal with our whole uh, opinion on clans, being that uh, there goes your heater um, <laughs> or whatever. Oh shit! <laughs> well, it's off now. Um, I like like I said, I don't really know who's the best clan. I know Cat Clan. I know Master Clan just because of playing with many members of them, with them um, on games on stream and stuff. So. But the Role Players Guild, I'm sure, seems very role play. Basically, this one was just the votes, and that was it. Like, okay, throwing this out there. Who who's nominating what? And honestly, nominations go up, and who's voting for what? And then yeah. this is how it turned out. Um, and honestly, I thought it would come down to who had the most members. And I just because of a popularity contest. Yeah, that's basically what this is. And I wanted to see how uh, how eager some. Uh, some clans were to get this award because they can put this on their uh, little clan page there on their bio. They could be like number one clan of 2017. But so with our final award, which is best clan, the winner is. And who is it? 
You got, oh, <laughs> some people said can't. Well, Master Clan got some cat clans. Should I drop it on them or should I just never say? Should we just end the stream? And just I think we should just end it without ever saying it. Ooh, I like that. I like that. No, well, guys, it's been good. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, fuck it. We'll just tell you, right? It's Master Clan, of course. The best in the biz. Of course. I don't know why, but apparently, that's, yeah, you know, it is. Yeah, we will say that it was between two clans in particular. You probably can guess. Based, even based off the chat, was Cat Clan and Master Clan. They really, well, I will say that the. Oh no, I was. Did they? No. I think the role player clan wasn't too far behind, actually. Um, but Master Clan wins somehow. I mean, they had less numbers, but clearly, the public thinks the Master Clan is the best clan. So maybe next year, cats. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, I don't really know what to say either. It is what it is. But yeah, so that's it. That's all the awards. But um, we're going to quickly uh, shout out our sponsor one last time, and then we're going to do just a quick little reaction, and we'll read chat more, and we'll have a little discussion. And then after that, we'll end the stream. So the first, once again, I want to tell everyone that Warzone Awards is sponsored by Red Apron, the number one cookie delivery company in Canada. <laughs> If you guys go to redapron.com slash awards, you get 30% off your first order of a dozen cookies. That's a lot of cookies. That's a lot of cookies. A lot of savings. And then uh, you can have like a monthly thing where they send you every month a certain amount of cookies. You can pick different flavors. M &M, it's like the Dollar chocolate. Shave Cup club of the cookie industry you know they're yeah disrupting the cookie industry with their I didn't, online I didn't, prices. they didn't put it on the ad but they did tell us that uh that's pretty much what we are we're the dollar shave club of the bakery industry and i'm like okay that makes sense you know what else what else could you be and they're like well we're actually international as well because they'll deliver to any uh, country you're in somalia they'll deliver it to you they'll find a way i mean so. they're gonna charge shipping you know, it's going to be crazy, but yeah, but you get 30% off. So in the end you're, you still save money. So make sure you guys, uh, it's true. You have to spend money to save money. That's always how it works in this, uh, capitalist. <laughs> it could be red a prawn too. That is a good point. Red porn. But yeah, so thank you guys. Uh, thank you. Red apron. You know, you guys really helped us out here because this was a lot of money to rent out this whole building, um, and all that stuff. So thank you. Thank you, Red Apron. And with that, I guess we can just discuss now. I don't know. I mean, I feel like we discussed a lot. We did. We did. But I kind of want to read don't know what else to say. I mean, a lot of people were kind of triggered earlier, earlier in the stream, but it kind of got, it settled down a little bit. Maybe those people left or something, but. Cause I, know I people... was actually quite surprised. I wasn't expecting a lot of people to actually vote. And a lot of people did. Yeah, there's actually a decent amount. I know some people couldn't make it, so they'll probably watch the VOD, but... Talk about awards. There's a specific award that people had a problem with. Because we can, we can show you the results if it comes down to it. If you guys don't believe us... Oh, you still have those available? Yeah, I still have those available, of course. What's most surprising winner? I mean... Honestly, it's got to be Dan for best Warzoner, hands down. Again, I legitimately thought that Warzoner and Warzone community of the year, like the winners would be swapped. It yeah, honestly I... doesn't make sense to me, but that's just how it turned out, I guess. Cat's not winning best clan. I mean, that is a little surprising, but Master Clan's up there too. But I guess maybe not, not enough of the Cat Clan cared to vote. But I don't know. So, okay, this is what I was getting at earlier. Um, I think a lot of the Cat Clan voted obviously for their for themselves and i think a lot of the cat clan voted for that free-for-all game for best match because three out of the five people in there were from the cat clan that's just my guess also the fact that this is advertised for the channel i can't control that but i guess they voted for the one that they played on i don't know can you tell me what dan has done to the for the community well i mean he's made some scripts and stuff and he's also pretty active in the community and he's also active in this chat and Fizzer's chat. And I've actually seen him in other people's chat as well. So he's pretty much everywhere. 
and he gives people time and suggestions in terms of gameplay. So I think Dan was a good nominee. Dan's probably my favorite person on Warlight. Well, favorite person we, that's alive. He's very popular we lost on this Tabby. Channel. Yeah. Ever since Tabby went, uh, Dan's been the next. So I hope Dan's not cursed. You might be next, Dan. <laughs> be careful, please. <laughs> when driving, make sure uh, you, your phone's in your pocket and not in your hands, all right? Dan wins an award one year. Dan appears in the In Memoriam the next. We don't want that. Yeah. It actually would be a pretty funny idea. We should kill Dan. Oh, you want to just kill him? I mean, yeah, let's do just, it. Just for the award of the show next year. It sounds like a good idea. So is it, I'm going. I'm going back up because I know people were saying stuff. I just couldn't respond to it. A lot of people are asking Dan what he thinks about the award seen a lot of that a lot of people yeah, congratulating I mean, dan telling him how awesome he is you want evidence i mean i can i can show you guys let me see if i can get it up Let's see here. Loading, loading. Best war zoner. Dan actually won by a significant margin. Can I take it? Yeah, let me just drag it. Or no, I'll just do this. I'll just do this. Uh, window capture. Add source. Add new source. Hold on. There we go. There you go. If you don't believe me, check it out. Check it out. Dan won by 16 or 16 votes to 10 and then 11. It was pretty close, though, for two to three. So there's your proof. Wasn't rigged. Talk about the players with the cutest pets. Well, I don't know... <laughs> Damn, enough. that would have been a good category. If Where we... were you before, Master of Dongs? I don't know many uh, players like on a personal level enough to know what kind of pets they have. Well, I but... got to imagine that everyone in the Cats clan owns at least a cat. Watch there might them all be some dogs. people that own dogs, be some yeah. spies in there. Never understood that Cats first dogs like, like war, apparently. I'm saying that in quotes. Master of Dongs, D-O-N-G-S. That's his name, right? Yeah, yeah. Poor Alhazi. He got. He he he's he de deserved more than no votes, but that's why I didn't really want to show it on stream. But since you guys were shocked by the fact that Dan won, I had to prove it to you. And Alhazi is he has to be level sixty nine. I'm gonna look this up. This is killing me. What level is this guy? Let's talk Tinder. Oh, he's only level 68. I don't 68. use Tinder. Rip. He's got to be close, though. We do enough lot of games. Yeah, I use Grinder actually. That's how we met. All right, I think it's time to wrap it up. Yeah, I mean, no one else is really saying much, so. Well, there you go. There's the awards. You had a... It wasn't too much of a shit show. It kind of worked nice. I mean, I liked all of my graphics that kind of worked. <laughs> um, but, you know, if we do this again next year, you know, we'll try to change some shit up, make it a little better. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, do I want to stream after this? Do people want, do people want to play some Warzone? Because I'll, I'll end the stream and then restart it. If people want to play, that's up to them, though. Raise your hands, please. <laughs> My hand is not raised. I can play though. All right. So we'll we'll end it, but I just want to end the vod. But thank you guys Why don't for you watching. End the vod, and then we'll pick it back up and see what's going on. 
All right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and uh, you'll probably maybe see this on YouTube, and I might highlight it down to just for the goofy, funny parts for like a five-minute video. But thank you guys for watching, and if you're watching the VOD later on, thank you too. So uh, love you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.